equal to an equal and opposite degree. Those who have not done a similar degree of fine tuning and if you feel like you're in a relationship with a friend or loved one and there's something off about it, you don't feel seen, you don't feel heard, you feel like your needs aren't being met, lean into what your needs are and stop playing small. And what will happen is you will start to repel the behavior that you hate. And the people that are perpetuating that behavior will not feel comfortable in your presence and they will automatically take themselves out of your life. And I know that that sounds scary, but in doing that, it now opens up space for you to bring in what you actually do want. And as she talks about, this is a magnetic universal law that the more frequency that you apply to a situation, the more it will attract a like frequency. So an example of this would be, in my last relationship, I had a partner who was acting suspicious and was not consistent with communication and would gaslight me and blame shift when I would bring up what my very simple needs were. And at first, when I was unconscious, I allowed this to happen and I took it on myself. But then as I started to recognize what was happening and become more conscious of my desires and more conscious of his behavior, I started to lean into what it was that I wanted. So I started to demand that of him. I started to say to him, you're not being consistent. And when he would apply blame shifting and gaslighting to get out of having to be held accountable, I would not back down and I would not play small as I had before. And I would lean into what I was asking. I got really clear on what it was I wanted as I became more conscious. And I got really inflexible on not accepting less than that. Not accepting gaslighting and manipulative behavior so that he didn't have to give me what I deserved. And as I leaned into that, meaning... I rose my frequency, I rose the energy that I emitted in the relationship to not stand down and to stand behind what it was that I deserved and wanted. He was repelled by that and naturally took himself out of the equation. Now I know that that sounds scary because you don't wanna lose your loved one, but the converse of this idea of this law of attraction is that as we, accentuate as we lift and elevate our frequency and we stand true to what that is and we're integrous with that in the way that we behave and what we expect from people we will now bring into our lives people we will naturally attract people like a magnet that are willing to give us what we want and that are willing to be consistent and don't imply don't employ gaslighting and don't employ blame shifting. And I can guarantee that this is true. And it does not take a lot of time. Once you give those people that are insistent on not meeting your needs and that are insistent on not matching your energy, in fact, they're repelled by your energy, as soon as you let them leave, you get them out of the equation, you will very quickly start attracting people in your life that can give you all of that and more. And it does not take a lot of time. It is the most powerful frequency. This law of the universe is real and you will start attracting friends, loved ones, suitors, um, jobs, just everybody in your life that it has an important part to play in your life will match your frequency and your energy of what you expect. Get integrous and stand behind what it is that you want and you will naturally and easily repel the people that cannot show up and very quickly bring in the people that can.